It's a common belief that the invention that became a true symbol of capital punishment, the guillotine, is named after the French physician Joseph Guillotin, considered its inventor. But that's not entirely true. In fact, Joseph Guillotin was an opponent of the death penalty. So in 1792 he merely launched the idea that a more humane form of execution should be found. In contrast to the existing methods of beheading with a sword or axe, the development of this device was carried out by the renowned surgeon Antoine Louis, who made the sketches. The transformation into a real mechanism was the work of the German mechanic Tobias Schmidt, consulted by the famous Parisian executioner, Henri Sanson. Interestingly, this device was not even groundbreaking. There are records of the use of other similar devices for carrying out death sentences centuries before, such as the Halifax gibbet, first mentioned in 1286, and the so-called Scottish Maiden, documented in 1307. On top of that, Guillotine's relatives have long tried to change the name of the infernal machine, but all their attempts have been in vain. In the end, the family just changed their last name, 